before watching this video please make sure that you watch our tutorial videos for the interval notation and the inequalities if you haven't watched it please check our description box to find the video now our topic is solving linear inequalities let's try to solve number one 5x plus 1 is less than 11 again let us repeat the given 5x plus 1 is less than 11 so we're going to solve for x to solve x let us use the addition property of inequality. Let us subtract 1. So 5x is less than 11. So our easiest way is to transpose positive 1. That is negative 1. 5x is less than 11 minus 1. That is 10. Now, Divide by 5. So x now is less than 10 divided by 5. That is 2. x is less than 2. Let us try to write this in our number line. Let us graph in our number line to find our interval notation. So this is 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, negative 1, negative 2, and so on. Less than 2. So that means 2 is not included. So we're going to leave it open. Open to negative 2, less than, going to negative infinity. Okay. So, our interval notation for our final answer, that is equal to open to negative infinity, then open to positive 2. This is now our final answer. Now let's try number 2. 3x plus 9 is less than or equal to 0. Again, let us find the inequality. First, transpose positive 9. So this will become 3x is less than or equal to negative of 9. Next, divide negative 3 to both sides of the equation. So x is less than or equal to negative of 3. Let us plot in our number line. So 0, Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, and so on. X is less than or equal to negative 3. We have equal to negative 3. So that means negative 3 is included. So negative 3 so we're going to shade negative 3. Less than negative 3 is on the left side. So we're going to negative infinity. Use the arrow sign. So for our final answer, negative 3 to uh, negative infinity to negative 3, but negative 3 is included. So we use the bracket to close our final answer. Negative infinity to negative 3. 
third example. Negative 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 22. Okay. Negative 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 22. First step, isolate our variable. Negative 3x is less than or equal to negative 22, transpose minus 5. And next, negative 3x is less than or equal to negative 27. To find x, divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. So x now, negative 27 divided by negative 3, this is positive 9. Our rule in this inequality is, if we're going to divide negative or multiply negative, we need to change our inequality sign. So that will become greater than or equal to positive 9. Again, if you're going to multiply by negative or divide by negative, you need to change our inequality sign for greater than or equal, greater than or less than. Change the inequality sign. Now, let us plot in our number line. Where is 9? So if this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and the negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2. X is greater than or equal to 9. So 9 is included. Greater than. So on the past on the right side of 9. So for our interval notation, we're going to close to positive 9, then going to positive infinity. Now our parenthesis sign. That is on how to solve linear inequalities. Again, our rule is. If you're going to divide by 9 or by negative or multiply by negative, you need to change the inequality sign. Please share this video in your classmate and our next video will be the solving quadratic inequalities. Please invite your classmates to visit our channel for their advanced study.